My name is Susan Salvo, and today we're going to do a chair massage. And this is my model and volunteer, Miss Molly. And Molly is ready for some great chair work. Um, so we've already adjusted the chair. We've adjusted the table height, the seat, uh, the seat height, I should say, and the chest pad, and we got the face rest nice and comfortable for her. And this is a face rest that I really, really like. Any of your clients with any kind of facial pain, TMJ, any kind of oral surgery, anything like that, uh, could really benefit from a softer face rest cushion. And this has water spheres inside, so I'm really, really fond of this. And um, check the table, the, uh, the arm shelf height for me. That looks pretty good. So she looks like she's in a very good alignment. Um, there's many ways to do a seated massage. I'm going to just show you one variation of that. Um, her spine is here. I'm going to go ahead and start with some opening up and just loosening up, up her, her back. Make sure your back is as straight as possible. You also want to try to take care not to get your knee over your foot. So it may take some adjustments for that. You can do some low back work where you go into the QL. We've already done QL on another video, but you can definitely do QL again. QL stands for quadratus lumborum. Going it at a 45 degree angle and working the lower back here. I like to go to the neck and shoulders at this point. A lot of the movements that I like to do in seated massage are basically uh, from a workshop I took in the 80s called Traeger. So we're going to start with some of that work. I'm going to have her drop her arm down and just want you to be loose as a goose. We're going to start off by grabbing the deltoid in her traps at the same time. And lifting them up a little bit and doing a little bit of a shake. Really nice and loosening up the shoulders. You can go underneath here, grabbing her humeral head. You can do a push-pull like this. You can do the same move that we did earlier. You can turn her scapula out and work all these wonderful muscles on the top of the shoulders here. You can work into the deltoids, just let it hang there, very nice, very nice. You can do a little bit of work on the pecs, always appreciated. Mm -hmm. And then we're going we're to go back into this move, and this time we're going to take my opposite hand, we're going to move it to the side of her vertebral border of the scapula, and as I'm pushing it back, I'm actually lifting it up a little bit and working on the muscles that are underneath the scapula. You can even take this hand and do it this way and go underneath this way to get some really nice work done. She's very cooperative. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, and you can do that on the opposite side. What I like to do is I like to do some great neck work. In another video that we shot earlier, we did the suboccipitals. We had a chart that we showed you where those muscles were. You can work on the suboccipitals again in this position here. You can actually take this face rest and even lower it somewhat. As I'm lowering it, it's going to help lengthen out these muscles even more. And then you can get them again in that lowered or lengthened or stretched position. Makes it really, really nice. Mm -hmm. You can uh, work on one side of the head while you're stabilizing the shoulder on the other side here to cause a stretch. Makes it really nice. You can work into the lamina groove if you need to, into those muscles. Feels really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. You can do scalp work with your chair. Makes it really, really nice. You can also go down into the forearms. This is more of a, again, it's a lubricantless massage. You can do lubrication if you need to, but you can definitely just do a lot of work with your thumbs. I like to rotate the arm a little bit as I'm working. How's that feel? It's Pretty wonderful. Good. It's wonderful, awesome. You can do circular uh, friction on the underneath side of her arm where the finger flexors are. Feels really nice. Mm -hmm. The work you do on the tricep and bicep is more of a pincer grip here. So 
So we worked the shoulders, we've worked, showed work on the deltoid, into the arms, into the forearms. You can do the hand, you can do finger pulls. You can do metacarpal, metacarpal scissors. You're isolating one and going back and forth. You can do circular friction on the joints of the hand. You can actually do the same circular friction on each joint of the fingers, isolating those. Um, to finish the back, you can do several finishing moves. I like to do a superficial friction. Are you going up and down? I like to do a hacking to potoma. Notice you can hear my fingers slap up against each other. You can do a cupping to potoma here. You can do a quacking to potoma where you have your hands together and really I'm just striking with the last three fingers of my hand. To finish off I like to do a nice nerve stroke like this. Say goodbye to the shoulders and you're finished. Wonderful. Thank you. How do you feel Miss Molly? Wonderful. Great. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.